Hi all, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will discuss important multiple choice questions from the uh, pharmacology chapter antiviral drugs. Antiviral drugs. This is an important chapter, antiviral drugs. The classification is very important. The questions are coming from the classification directly for the competitive exams. So you have to start, you have to study this chapter very well. We will move the first we will move to the first question of the video. Redox routine is indicated in hydroxyrudin is indicated in option a herpes simplex keratitis option b herpes zoster option c chicken box option d all of the above the correct answer for this question that is hydroxyrudin indication is herpes simplex keratitis the correct answer is option a the classification we will study in the last of uh, uh, this video that is once the MCQ is over we will see the classification of antiviral drugs that's important I already told so the first question is over now we will move to the second question of the video which of the following viruses is most susceptible to acyclovir which of the following viruses is most susceptible to acyclovir. Option is herpes simplex type 1 virus. Option B herpes simplex type 2 virus. Option C varicella zoster virus. Option D Eps, Epstein Barr virus. The correct answer for this question that is most susceptible virus to acyclovir is herpes simplex type 1 virus. Type 1 virus. The third question Zidovudin inhibits the following virus Option A Human Immunodeficiency Virus that is HIV virus Option B Cytomegalovirus Option C Hepatitis B virus Option D Both A and B Zidovudin inhibits the following virus Example I mean options are HIV virus Cytomegalovirus Hepatitis B virus Both A and B The correct answer is HIV virus, zero within is zero within inhibit HIV virus. Option A is the correct answer. Now, the fourth question the virus directed reverse transcriptase enzyme is inhibited by the virus directed reverse transcriptase in enzyme is inhibited by option A, amandarin, option B, zero within, option C. Vitarabin, option D, acyclovir. Amandarin, we know this is useful in case of Parkinsonism. It's an anti Parkinsonian drug. The antiviral drug which is used in the Parkinsonism is amandarin. This is an important question that when we discussed in the anti Parkinsonism drugs in that video. Here, the question is virus which is uh, inhibit reverse transcriptase enzyme is. Option amandarin, zidovudin, vitarabin, and last option, option acyclovir. The correct answer is option B, zidovudin. And the HIV, I mean, uh, and the HIV, this one drug, zidovudin. Now, the fifth question the following anti HIV drug should not be combined with zidovudin because of the mutual antagonism. The following anti HIV drug should not be combined should not be combined with zidovudin because of mutual antagonism. Options are stavudin, lamivudin, nevirapin, and retinavir. The correct answer for this question is stavudin. Stavudin. Stavudin is the correct answer. Stavudin should not be combined with zidovudin because it causes mutual antagonism. Now the fifth, I mean sixth question Select the drug that is active against both HIV and hepatitis B virus, which is antiviral drug which is active against both HIV as well as hepatitis B virus. Options are Lamivudin, Indinavir, Didanosin, Efavirans. The correct answer for this question is Lamivudin. Lamivudin is an anti HIV drug, also, it acts against hepatitis B virus. So that was the Lamivudin. Now we will move to the seventh question of the video. Select the drug that acts by inhibiting HIV protease enzyme. These questions is coming directly from the uh, classification of the antiviral drug. Antiviral drugs are classified based on their mechanism of action. 
so we will see we will see that one in the last so here the uh, question is select the drug that acts by inhibiting hiv protease enzyme option a zalcitabine option b efavirenz option c stavudine option d nelfinavir the correct answer for this question is nelfinavir nelfinavir has got inhibit inhibiting hiv protease enzyme activity now the eighth question Select the drug which directly inhibits HIV reverse transcriptors without the need for intracellular activation by phosphorylation. Select the drug which directly inhibits HIV reverse transcriptors without the need for intracellular activation by phosphorylation. Options are nelfinavir, nevirapine, stavudine, didenosine. The correct answer is nevirapine. Nevirapine is the correct answer for this question. Now the ninth question indicate the drug that is used to treat chronic hepatitis B. Options are human interferon alpha, lamivudine, amantadine, both A and B. The correct answer for this one is both A and B. That is human interferon alpha and lamivudine is useful in the case of to treat chronic hepatitis B. Tenth question. Presently, the goal of antiretroviral therapy is Option A. Eradication of HIV from the body of the patient. Option B. Inhibit the viral replication to undetectable level. Option C. Restore immune competence of the patient to effective level. Option D. Both B and C. The correct answer is both B and C. That is the goal of antiretroviral therapy is inhibit the viral replication to undetect undetectable levels and also it will restore immune competence of the patient to effective levels. Now the 11th question, antiviral action of amantadine is exerted through in that, in that mechanism of action of uh, amantadine. Option A, interaction with the level with the viral M2 protein. Option B, interaction with the with a virus directed thymidine kinase. Option C, inhibition of a viral protease enzyme. Option D, inhibition of viral RNA mediated DNA synthesis. That is the mechanism of action of amantadine in for the antiviral action. The correct answer is interaction with the viral M2 protein. Now, 12th question, what is true about the human interferon alpha? Option A, it is used to treat HIV infection. Option B, it is used to treat Kaposi's sarcoma in AIDS patient. Option C, it is curative for the hepatitis B virus infection. Option C, it is, I mean, uh, option D, it is active already. The correct answer is, it is used to treat Kaposi's sarcoma in AIDS patient. Human interferon alpha is used to treat Kaposi sarcoma in AIDS patient. So these are the important multiple choice question from this chapter. Now we will see the classification of antiviral medicines, antiviral drugs. First classification, it is uh, first one is antiherpes. Antiherpes. It is against antiherpes virus. Uh, it's against, it acts against herpes, uh, herpes uh, variety of uh, virus. The, their uh, mechanism of action is DNA polymerase inhibition. DNA polymerase inhibition. Examples are edoxorudine, acyclovir, valcyclovir, famcyclovir, uh, foscarnet, all are coming under anti-herpes or uh, antiviral drugs. Second category is antiretrovirus. Antiretrovirus. This was herpes. This is antiretrovirus. Examples. This is again classified into two types. One is NRTI. Another one is NNRTI. NNRTI. Then the third class, three classification, protease inhibitor. These are the different classification. NRTI, NNRTI, protease inhibitor. NRTI examples are Zidovudine, Didenosine, Zalcitabine, Stavudine, Lamivudine, Abacavir. 
NNRPA that is nucleos non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors that's NRPA is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors NNRPA is non nucleoside reverse trans transcriptase inhibitors example for NNRPA never up in efavirenz and in case of protease inhibitors examples are retinavir indinavir nelfinavir exam etc then the third option third category anti influenza anti influenza anti influenza examples are amantadine remantadine examples are amantadine remantadine then the fourth one fourth and last one non selective non selective antivirus drug non selective examples are ribavirin then interferon alpha adifovir examples are coming under this one another one is immunomodulators also there Monocl monoclonal antibodies immunoglobulins interferons are coming under this classification also so <coughs> these are the different classifications of different type of classes of antiviral drugs anti herpes anti retrovirus anti influenza then non selective so thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed this video you understood this video and you study very well best of luck thank you